what is up welcome to another cooking with trash i feel like this whole channel has become a cooking channel because honestly it's all i really do anymore is just cook i love cooking i love trying new things and today i am trying a chicken stir fry <laughs> i'm super excited about this so we went to a chinese restaurant not that long ago that had water chestnuts and snow peas snap peas i don't really know the difference we'll find out um and this is so good and i love water chestnuts i love the snap peas and the one I'm making today is a chicken stir fry and it's like not that heavy of a sauce, but we had one that had like a little bit of heavier of a sauce. It kind of was either like a garlic sauce or an orange sauce or something. I don't think it was orange because usually orange doesn't come with like chestnuts. But if you guys have any other suggestions on like water chestnut snow pea recipes with chicken sauce, it's like a little more starchier, let me know. But this one looks very healthy and it looks very fast and very easy. We'll see if this is easy because like I love easy recipes, but I don't know. Also, this is a minute long recipe that I'm following. Literally, the video I'm following is a minute long, so. And it only has 5,000 views. I will link it below, but it looks good. Of all the ones I've seen, I'm like, this looks the easiest. So, um, yeah, let's just get right into our chicken stir fry. Okay, so marinating this chicken is super easy. It says it only takes like 10 minutes to marinate, so we'll see. So I cut up our chicken breasts into like little pieces, like one inch pieces. And she had something called cooking sherry which it wasn't on the recipe, it wasn't on the menu, I don't know. So we're gonna skip that, hopefully that's not like super important. Um, but we have soy sauce and cayenne pepper, which sounds so good to me, because I love both. So she put about a tablespoon of soy sauce. But you know I like to go a little heavy on my seasoning, so we didn't do that. And then she put like a fourth, like a teaspoon of like cayenne pepper, which again, we love cayenne pepper. We've been using this on so many things lately. So I'm gonna just do a little bit more than, yeah, I don't know. Kind of eye it and then she just did hers with a little spoon and marinated it in the cup. So, yeah, I guess I could just do this with my hands, which would probably be, I don't know, easier. So I'm trying to coat all the chicken with the spice and the, um, what do you call it, sesame. I haven't cooked with, I haven't cooked with soy sauce myself. This is my first time trying it, so it smells good. I know they use it at Benihana, so if they use it at Benihana, but yeah, this seems like an easy marinade. Again, I like a little bit of a thicker sauce usually when I have like Chinese food, like orange chicken, Kung Pao chicken. But again, the one we had with water chestnuts was like a garlic or something. So if there's any good recipes for that, I guess I could just always throw snow peas and water chestnuts in because that's everything. So I'm trying to coat all this. Then we're going to put it in the fridge for 10 minutes and then cut up our vegetables for the stir fry. All right, so here is all the ingredients if you just want to like get all the ingredients around. So I took out the marinated chicken right here, which you just saw me do. We have red onion, which smells so freaking good. Um, we have coriander, tomato paste, red pepper, rice vinegar, soy sauce. Um, there's some canola oil back there. Those are the snap peas trimmed water chestnuts over on this side right here this is right here and then we have four toppings if you want cilantro and parsley i'm sorry cilantro and green onion and then we have garlic so we're gonna put that all in the stir fry it says literally a cook time of 12 minutes so this should go fairly quick i'm really excited all right so we have this beautiful wok which i'm super excited about i think i just got this off maybe amazon i don't even remember but we are going to, I just wonder if it works. Oh, there we go. We're going to put it on medium high, and we are going to put some, um, I'm going to put canola oil. We work a lot with vegetable oil, but she's canola oil, so I'm going to go ahead and put canola oil, about two tablespoons of it. So, put that and warm it up. Okay, first step in our wok, we have canola oil, and we're going to add the chicken. Our chicken is marinated with soy sauce and cayenne. 
Okay, so it says to cook the chicken for about five minutes. So we do have a lid we could just go ahead and put over it, but Ooh, it's, just, it's, all, it's so good. I just don't want to overcook it or burn it. It just smells so good already. And the chicken pieces look so good. Red onion. Okay, so with the red onion, we're going to cook till transparent. That's what I've learned with all onions, is like cook till transparent. So, I'm gonna stir that in. The red onion smells so good. I feel like I haven't like eaten a red onion in so long, but it's reminding me of childhood. I remember my dad used to always put on his burgers. So, we're gonna keep stirring this. I love this big pan, it's so good. Like how good does this look? Oh my gosh. I'm so super excited. Yum. All right. They're going to cook fast, so. Next, I'm going to get out the coriander and the garlic to toss in with this. To kind of cook it all together. Some garlic. Get all that in there. Yum. And then we're gonna get our other spice, the coriander, which is a new spice, but it's been in a lot of recipes lately. And we're gonna add a dash of coriander. Just a little bit more, I like it seasoned, okay. <laughs> add the seasoned stir fry. Stir all together. Mm. We always add a little extra garlic than like recommended because we love garlic. It smells so freaking good. Stir for about four minutes, it says on the recipe. So I followed her written recipe because the video is so quick. Her video is literally like a minute long. But she has a written recipe in the description of her video. Then add one tablespoon of soy sauce. So I'm gonna measure this out. I'm trying to do it like a TikTok at the same time, which you know, I don't know. Let me stir this so it doesn't like overcook anything. Okay, so yeah. So I have my tablespoon here, so I don't, you know, do too much or too little. So we're adding one tablespoon of soy sauce. Per. Love that for us. And then we're going to do rice vinegar. One tablespoon of this. Okay, my TikTok. One tablespoon of rice vinegar. And just do that. All right, that might be a little more rice vinegar than needed, but you know what? I'm just gonna keep cooking it because I'm gonna just turn it down a little because I feel like it's gonna cook, cook, cook. And then we are going to do one tablespoon of tomato paste. We love our tomato paste here, as you guys know. We do tomato paste on everything. And we're gonna add some red crushed pepper. Some, some red pepper flakes. Yum. Does that look like enough? I love these. Okay, <laughs> put a little extra in. I always really love these. I'm gonna just stir this all together. Tomato paste is so funny because like it's in so many recipes. Like it was in the Spanish rice, it's in Italian recipes. It's just really interesting that it's everywhere. But hey, we love it. So this is kind of looking good actually. This kind of almost looks like a spicy kung pao. Be interesting. Okay. And then we're gonna add three tablespoons of water. Three tablespoons of water. And then one, two, three. 
do one for good luck because, you know, we always add a little more water when it's the Um, okay, let's stir that all together. Mm, it's looking and smelling so good. All right. Then we have a couple more ingredients left and we should be cooking. Add your snow peas or snap peas trimmed. And my favorite part, the water chestnuts. All right, yum, this looks so good. Honestly, water chestnuts are like life. Turn my Instagram. Take a picture. Mm. Do a little boomerang of this action. Now we're stirring it all. She has cabbage on hers, but I'm just not a cabbage person, so we're just gonna make right. Oh my god, this seriously smells so good. It actually looks like better. I don't know if I put more tomato or something than um, the video did, but this looks more saucy than I thought, which is good because I was like kind of worried. Oh, wow, I feel like I made something really good. I hope this tastes as good as it looks because honestly, it looks so good. Gosh, yes, the snap peas, everything. Ugh. Show my TikTok. My TikTok will be proud of me. And then I think we're done. I think it's like literally that easy. Stir that stir fry. Oh my god, this looks so good. All right. I think we're I think we're there. Let me just do a quick more stir, get all the sauces mixed in. Mmm. Yeah, this looks bomb. All right, you guys, what do you think? This looks pretty good. Dang, I think we got all the consistencies right. Like, I don't know, there's water chestnuts and snap peas. I literally could have doubled. They look so freaking good. All right. All right, let's get some steamed rice and plate up and serve. Oh, kidok. So now is the taste test time. It looks so good. I mean, your presentation's like not as good as some people's, yeah, but. Okay, what is this? This is green onion. Um, she didn't show this part of her video either, the step, but. Oh man, I'm so excited. This looks like so much actually, like this bowl of like so much, but I'm like really excited to try it. We tried to like set up as quick as we could so we could eat it. Oh my God. <gasps> Water chestnuts and chicken and rice are like my favorite things in the whole world. I'm so excited to try it. it smells amazing. Yeah, it really does. High, high hopes. It's so interesting. Like you wouldn't think, of, like soy sauce, tomato paste. Like I didn't. It's so like, weird. I don't know where the smell is coming from. What is? I don't either. I guess maybe because we also put cayenne and red pepper chili flakes. Is it good? Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. It's better than. Mmm. It's better than the restaurant. Oh my god. The chicken is so perfect. Mm. The chicken is so perfect. When we eat at Chinese restaurants, the chicken can be chewy. Even at Benny Han, it's going be chewy sometimes. Oh my god, the snap peas and the water sauces. Oh my god. Mm. And I added extra red pepper, so I think it gave it a little extra spice, you know? Yeah, it's, it's a good bet. <sighs> Do you... Oh my gosh. Would you ever order again? No, honestly, this is so, so freaking good. Okay, I gotta show my TikTok real like quick. this we'll rice with this sauce? Oh my god. The sauce is good. It's like spicy. It's kind of like Benny Hanna sauce has a spice. Oh god. I can't stop eating. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. It's so perfect. The water chestnuts and the snow peas were so easy. <laughs> like, literally throw them in for a minute. It's so interesting because I tasted them before. Yeah, like cooked, they're so good. Wow, this is so good. I've had so many water chestnuts and snow peas at places, but the chicken's so good too. Like we nailed the chicken. And it only took like five minutes to stir fry it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but Chinese food is so fast. Wow. I mean, I was looking for another like sauce to go with this, but the sauce is so good. We didn't use any cornstarch, which is like usually the thing they use. Obviously not MSG. Wow. I can actually just do this with just 
snow peas, <sighs> water chestnuts, and the chicken. But the onion makes it good. Too. Everything makes it good. Like the onion, the garlic. The onion actually disappears. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one really disappears. My did it was translucent. <laughs> mm. The chicken's so good. Mm-hmm. I usually pick around the chicken, even at Chinese restaurants, because it's always just a little chewy. Oh, this is not even... It's spicy, too. It's like filet. It must be the cayenne, the red pepper, because I did put a little extra red pepper, like... And tomato paste is like I was saying to them, like it's like the secret ingredient. Because we put that in the Mexican rice, like we put that in the Cajun pasta, like we put that in so many things. Oh my god. In Israel, most dishes are cooked around tomato paste. Really? Yeah. Like most cooked dishes are tomato based, they're red. Because of the spices? And there's no spice in it. It just goes well with like savory dishes. Like what is the secret about it that makes it so good with everything? Is it just like... The flavor. Oh my god. And it's like, this is the perfect... Honestly, I love the this dish. The rice is so good with it. Like just the sauce and the rice. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Because that's like our thing. Like a boiling crab or even banana. Like I just like to eat the sauce and the rice or we both do. So that's kind of how I feel with this too. It's like so good. I just love the snack piece too in the water chestnuts. Water chestnuts are hard to find, so I'm just like so. Mmm. <laughs> like at restaurants, it's hard to find. Yeah, like I'll find mine, the ones in my dish, and give it to her. Oh, yeah. I love them. But this chicken's so good, too. I'm so loving this. Because this has been my obsession during pregnancy or just the past few months. It's like, rice and chicken but having that perfect spice with it mm. the thing is also this is a dish you can like just spontaneously decide to make because it's so easy like you don't have to prep time mm. marination because we always have soy sauce rice vinegar mm -hmm. we can always make sure we have chestnuts you know they're in a can so you can stay there forever yeah and chicken is the only like and the chicken is so good because usually we like rotisserie chicken and rice which is good, but like cooking it like warm and having all the spices in it makes such a difference. Like, oh, this is my literal favorite thing in the whole world right now. I'm shocked. I'm shocked it's so good. The video only has 5,000 views that I followed. Like, it doesn't even have that many views, and she's so good. I think it's a simple, like a classic recipe. Mm mm mm. mm, -mm. If you YouTube like easy chicken stir fry, so many of them don't have snow peas or water chestnuts. Oh. I had to specifically say with water chestnuts and she happened to have the snow peas in it. It's like the only one I found like that. Oh, I see. Now I found a honey chicken with water chestnuts, but this one just looked, oh my God. It's so good. Yeah, I like this more because the other one is like sweet. Right. Yeah, because the sauce is like, it's hardly a sauce, but it has like a good, I'm so happy you like it too. Because this was honestly probably like one of our easiest ones. You literally just throw everything in a stir fry. Right. Mm -hmm. And there's no like wait time. Oh, weird formulas. <laughs> if you mess up one thing, everything. Yeah, no, I mean, seriously, it's like so easy. Oh my God, I love it. I'm so happy I love it too, yay. Mm. I like savory, savory dishes. What does savory mean again? Like salty, not sweet. Mm. Me too. Well, you do have a sweet tooth. <laughs> Separately. Right. <laughs> we can have savory, sour, or sweet. Mm. What's sour? What's in that category? Like Thai food, they have a lot of dishes that are sour, or mm. like uh, Persian. They have sour, like soups, there's just that is sour, sour flavor to that. Mm. And then in Chinese, they're sweet and sour. You don't like that, right? For me, just simple. Oh my day. god. The dessert can be sweet. I don't think you have <laughs> a sweet tooth, but I know what you're saying. Like, but honestly, like when I'm hungry, I'd rather have something savory too. Mm -hmm. I like a savory thing. It's like if I would rather have potato chips or a cookie. No, I like both of them, but I would probably go for potato chips because I like. Is that right? Savory? Potato mm -hmm. chips, savory? 
Oh my god. The chicken is so perfect. Five minutes! Five freaking minutes to cook that chicken. You have to fry it, you don't have to like um, coat it in anything. Like it's literally so easy. I feel like mine even turned out a little bit better than the video I followed because hers didn't look like saucy enough, but this one looks like so saucy. I don't know how that even happened. I would even have more. Really? Yeah, because I'm kind of heavy handed when I put stuff in, so. Oh, for the rice. <laughs> more sauce? Mm -hmm. Totally can. It's so easy to do. Mm. Just one more spoon of tomato paste. Mm-hmm. Mm. A bit more. Oh, I put an extra tomato paste in there too. <laughs> because I knew we liked it, so I was like, let me put a little That's more. That's why I'm looking, I'm looking for like sauce on the rice so I can get really? the rice mm. the mm. I'm so obsessed with this, it's so good. Yeah, it's not too heavy on the sauce either, like some Chinese restaurants are so heavy on the sauce. Mm-mm-mm. Some of my TikTok was like, You've come a long way from just eating the skins off the KFC chickens. <laughs> My taste buds have expanded. Yeah, it's I, so cooking. I mean. Cooking is just, it's so good. Like nothing sounds good but cooking. Like ordering, because we've ordered from Chinese restaurants, we've ordered from, there's a place I go to called Lazy Dog, where we order from sometimes if like, we're lazy or whatever. And I order from there because they have water chestnuts and I don't even eat the chicken. I just eat water chestnuts in the and the rice, it's not even like that good of sauce, it probably has like MSG in it or something. This is like, I'll make this all day long. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna make a calendar with our... <laughs> our dates, our nights. Food options. Yes. Oh my God. So yummy. Oh, all these things in it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The sauce is just so good. Wow! Mm -hmm. I almost finished all the rice in there. Which is so weird for you. We want more of my rice. I think I put more rice in mine. Mm. I have more. Mm. I love when you like something for real. I can tell you like it. Not that you don't always like my stuff, but this one I know you really like. Oh man. That's cilantro. We can make it again this weekend, honestly. I should cook this for my mom and sister. I feel like I really like this. Mm -hmm. And it's like literally, I'll see, I'm like, I think it's probably the easiest thing we made because it just didn't require like boiling, simmering, you know, like <laughs> all that stuff. Like it was just literally just throw, throw, throw. Yeah, the prep time was 10 minutes. Prep time was 10 minutes, cook time was literally 10 minutes. Like, for the 10 minutes, the chicken is in the fridge. You cut the vegetables and everything. Everything is cut and then you just throw it in. Right. But still, you have to do it right. Like, everything is. Perfectly cooked, like the onion is perfectly cooked, the garlic is not burnt, the chicken is perfectly not, not dry. Yay! I mean, I'm I'm I'm, I'm impressed. Because <laughs> honestly, like I feel like I kind of just wing it all, but <laughs> I just kind of go by how it smells and how it looks. But when you cook for a while, that's how it works. That's why people, when you ask them about recipes, like mm -hmm. people that cook a lot, they don't know what to say. You know, they're like, because at that point, they just feel it. Mm -hmm. like they just feel how much to put of each thing, how long before it's ready. That's me with the spices. It's more. I can just tell, like, because I know we like a little more spice than normal, so I, like, I can do a little more than like a teaspoon. No, I, sometimes I get a little crazy with the spices, but. The salt. <laughs> I'm better. I've learned from like not even turning my eggs on to putting too much salt in. I know. Do you remember when we only cooked butter noodles, like? Well, I remember when we started dating, and we were like... <laughs> that was all I made. We were like, oh my god, you're just going to eat fast food all the time. Or we're like, no. You got me? No, people would tell me, like... Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, that was the only videos we had were, like, eating fast food. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was a moment in time, but honestly... But give it time. You're the king of giving it time. That's Moses' favorite thing to say. Give it a minute, give it time. It's also Buddha's favorite thing to say because he always said like if you give it if you like take a second take a breath we say take a second but the Buddha says something like that too if you just like take a step back like you like everything works itself out and you like the answers come to you and that was my biggest I think that's the thing that cured me the most is like waiting a minute before reacting 
um, just to anything and everything. Because honestly, like, I learned this in the past. Like, the next morning, I would feel differently. So that's why I'm like, okay, I need to, like, like take a minute and then... Because in the morning, I'd always feel regret if I, like, lashed out on someone. So I'm always like, okay, take a minute, breathe. I either go to sleep or breathe or, you know, I guess feel like the situation go away or something like that. Because then it always works itself out. Mm. And going to sleep is a good way. It's so one way to shut the brain down. Mm -hmm. I think most people, their brain is so occupied they can't fall asleep. That's mm -hmm. why so many people watch videos like this, or I watch certain videos. Like, mm -hmm. He watches car videos. Like for me, I watch a car review. <laughs> that will put me to sleep in five minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he puts his little earphones in. <laughs> and like, that's weird. Is just like relaxing to you, or what? Mm -hmm. I wish I had. I just fall asleep, I guess. I'm like, I wish I had something no, like that. No, I'm saying you. <laughs> you have that. You have right. that advantage, you can fall asleep. Most people cannot fall asleep. Yeah. When I hit a wall, I'm just like... Not even a minute. I never... I mean, you fall asleep the fastest. <laughs> really? She puts her head on my chest and boom. Right so away. Like, mm -hmm. For me, it takes me five minutes to just kind of settle into it. <laughs> I'm like a zombie. After we do TV, I'm always like, okay. Like, we usually yeah, like, do TikToks, but... Mm -hmm. I can't do those anymore. I, I get too tired. <laughs> we do them in the morning. Oh my god. I'm so happy with this. I'm so excited that we found something. I'm so excited about this like water chestnut discovery and how easy it was <laughs> to make. Like, like, I didn't know you could buy water chestnuts at the store. How stupid am I? Like, I was like, this is going to be so hard to find them. We just found them at Ralph's like straight up. No, no I've never... But it's a can. It's a small can. So I've never seen it even. Really? Yeah. Because I've never... I always buy vegetables and fruits and stuff, and I've never seen it. It's like... What is it? Is it a vegetable? I guess it's an actual chestnut, just in water. Like, mm. they're just soaked in water. But that's why it looked to me when I opened them. They're just like ground. The crunch of it? Like... Mm -hmm. And you're eating your water chestnuts. Usually you don't like water chestnuts. No. I usually give them to you. Oh, really? I don't know. Did you like them? I never knew you liked them. Um, it's so full, but it's just so good. Oh my god, I'm like struck that you liked it so much. Like, Why? I don't know. I just feel like you don't like love Chinese food, but especially like, I don't know. I like rice sauce, chicken. Mm. This is honestly so freaking good. Oh my god. When I was vegetarian, there's a dish. It's called mapu tofu, and just. Um, Tofu in this little red sauce, and I would just eat it over rice, just sauce with rice. What kind of sauce was it? It's it's. I think you'll like it because it's like red and thick. Was this an oyster one? I'm not sure because right? it's called mapu tofu. Like there's actually packages you can buy in the store that sauce. Oh, specifically. oh, so it's already in there. So we can try. It. I'm about it. trying the vegan options. No, it doesn't have to be. It can be still with chicken instead oh. of tofu. But that was like my favorite dish as a vegetarian. Mapu, mapu with tofu. So that's Have you had it since? <coughs> no, it's still as good. It's been you think? so long. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I'm down to try it. I just feel like oh, I can't get over how good. An this awakening. Is. Yeah, because this is like literally my favorite dish, and I'm like, why is it so easy? And what also, like you said, it's kind of perplexing because it's like, what made the sauce so good? Like, it's kind yeah. of weird because it's just like soy sauce, rice vinegar, tomato, water. <laughs> It's such a weird combo that I wouldn't be scared to take anything out or add anything in because it kind of all worked perfectly together with the cayenne and the red chili flake and the coleon, coriander? Coriander. I can't taste that even. Because like none of them on their own would be... I don't like vinegar at all. Mm. Soy sauce by itself kind of like it's... Oh, fresh. I soy hate sauce. soy sauce. Like when they give you a packet of it, I'm like, ugh, like I don't... And tomato paste, <laughs> you wouldn't... Have no, no. I, I can just have tomato paste like mm -mm. that. I don't love tomato paste usually either. I usually eat like the prego sauce. So it's like, mm, um, we had a lot too. Those bowls were, <laughs> they were stuffed more than our pasta usually. Oh my god, and that was all of it. That's the whole stir fry. You gave me so much more. <laughs> no, I didn't. I had so much more. I knew I had more because I'm like, babe, I've been eating. I'm so full. I'm probably like, I'll get ice cream. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
What's the new flavor? Oreo. <laughs> Babe, I love you so much. <laughs> I seriously love you so much. It's Oreo, um, Oreo s'mores. Just everything about you is so cute. I looked at you today and I was like, just the fact that this is my life, my husband. That's really nothing better. <laughs> I'm getting all these meals. Oh my, <laughs> I know. All my cooked meals. By the time our baby comes and she can like eat food and stuff like that, I feel like we'll have these meals like down pat. Oh yeah. Like it won't, because it, there's certain ones we can do like our chicken and mashed potatoes, our quesadillas, like we can just do without it. And I feel like these will get there mm -hmm. really soon. So I'm saying I'm going to have this list because sometimes with the kids it's like, you have to feed them breakfast, lunch, dinner. You have to be like on the go. Wait, really? I didn't know. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> no, I mean like, you just have to be like ready to just whip something out. Yeah. And here is food and it has to be healthy. And, and good food. Mm -hmm. I know. So we're getting there. I was raised in Austin, this is like no shade of my mom, because honestly I love the food growing up, but like she would never even use salt, like salt or pepper, like no seasoning, nothing. So even our noodles, we would never even put butter on the noodles. It was literally noodles and cheese. So I used to eat dry noodles for so long until someone told me about butter noodles. I was like, you can put butter on there? <laughs> so like for me, I'm just like, this is a whole like new world. And I've never cooked before you, like never cooked for anyone, never cooked for myself. Like I think this kitchen inspired it. For sure, we love this kitchen. This kitchen, when we look at other houses, because we'll always keep this house. This house will always be our house. Like we'll always keep it for something, whether it's content or raising our kids, we don't know. But we look at other houses and it's like, their kitchens are like either so dark or so whatever. Like our kitchen is like the center of our house. It's so white and bright. And I think they remodeled it, right? Yeah, this, this is a new is, kitchen. Like we didn't have to do anything. Like this room was like already done. Not that well, we that's how we fell in love with the house. Yeah. We walked, the first thing we walked into was the kitchen. The kitchen was... I think when we saw the kitchen, we were like, okay, this is it. Yeah. And then as we walked through and saw the rest of the house, it's like, okay, this is really I good. know. No, this house is literally amazing. And we got so lucky. We got such a good deal on it. We got such a good rates on it. Like, we got really, really lucky. Um, this is, like, the dream house. So whenever I talk about like, getting another house, it's either for content or for if our family expands or something. But we always keep this because this is... This is, like, I don't ever see us getting rid of this. One, because furniture is so hard to move out of this house. Our furniture is so heavy. We have a stone table. We have a freaking two-ton couch. Like, it, upstairs is a white marble bed. Like, literally, I feel bad for when we pass away and our kids have to deal with it because it's like, I don't know how you're going to get the furniture out of the house, but. <laughs> Maybe people want to keep it. That's true. I guess some people want <laughs> Nobody really loves our bed except us. Everyone's like, why is it in the middle? Why is it this? But nobody tried our bed. That's the difference. Our bed is amazing. Our bed is... That's the one thing I don't get. Everyone says that they will stub their toes on our bed. I don't and get that either. Never done that even and I'm once. clumsy. I'm really clumsy. And I think... Like, there's, there's kind of beds that if the frame goes straight down, like a regular bed, you do that. You know, that's why, that's why even in the kitchen, there's a kick toe, it's called a kick toe. Mm. It's space for your toe, because mm -hmm. when you stand in front of something, so we have that, like the steps have that kick toe. So even if you walk up to the bed, there's space for your toe, so you don't yeah. hit it. Yeah, like so I know, it's really weird, like people... I don't know why people say like, that either, because it's very sturdy. And if you ever worry about your bed rocking, knocking, falling down, this bed won't. <laughs> Our last bed... That so triggering. <laughs> and we oh, broke yeah. it. We broke it a couple of times. And honestly, just breaking it by getting onto the bed. Mm -hmm. Like, it was crazy. It was always going. And that bed wobbled so much. It was the scariest thing ever. I'm like, this is going to fall one day. You had to put, like, boxes on it. Like, at the bottom of the cardboard. No, I bought some wood. I had to, like, screw <laughs> more legs under the bed. Because the whole thing was, like... Oh, my God. That it was bed. The whole project. And now we have this, like, this it's Prince of Egypt so bed. It's... I have everything. I love it. I actually love our red room so much. Like when I go in there, I'm like so grateful. I'm grateful for everything, but I'm grateful for that room. And our room has a certain way the windows are. So it's like the bed is centered with that. So when we're in bed, we just have this beautiful view to the outside instead of most people have a TV in front of them. It's like, it, it's, it's hard to explain. It's like this is James Torrell, the artist, like he would make certain windows into the sky and like frame nature a certain oh. way. And that's what we have because we have those beautiful windows above on the top and we just see clouds. Yeah, it's, it's just like this beautiful frame. It feels like you're waking artwork. up in like Vienna, Austria or something. It's like so... Yeah. No, it, it doesn't make sense any other way because there's also a fireplace you could go, but then, then our backs of the window or how they had it staged was like you could kind of see from the side like a window so somebody's side could see the oh, window and then the other view one. was the bathroom, <laughs> the hallway to the bathroom It doesn't or, make... the, or the door. It was this weird... Yeah, it feels so right actually. Like... My bed in my last house kind of felt weird. Kind of was like this weird. I guess that one should have been facing the window too. Yeah. Because that was like half dark, half whatever. But this one just feels so right there. I don't know. To me, it wasn't even a question. It's like, yeah, it's going to go in the middle of the room. 
which I like a simple bedroom. We're gonna get white carpeting and like that's coming and like white wallpaper. And I think it's just like a really nice, simple room. We're gonna get a little couch in there. And I think once we have the lounger, the, I'm designing a lounger <sighs> now. I can't wait. Once we have that in, it makes sense because the room will be balanced. Yeah. That little area on the side will make sense and will be useful too. We need something for underneath the TV too. Yeah, that would have a console. Yeah, but... But I can see being on that lounger with the baby. Like if you want to sit up, the... Yeah. We're going to have the little snoo in there too. I ordered that. The little snoo is like this like fancy bougie bassinet that like rocks the baby. Everyone was telling me to get it. I don't know. I think it looks good. I had good reviews, so... We'll find out. <laughs> mm. So let us know what you like. Yeah, I mean, we have our crib too. Was the word the crib is in our nursery? It's in my office because it's in a box. So mm -hmm. I finished painting the main like mural in the nursery. So I think I'll assemble it there. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of film putting it together. Yeah. With that background. So we need to film the reveal of the theme. I know. We got a lot to show you guys, a lot to do. It's coming together. Oh man. Well, I don't think I ate anything ever so quickly. <laughs> I was so hungry. And they're in front of these little bowls. It's like a little rice bowl. Damn, we can open up a restaurant, babe. Crushed. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have like, instead of a food truck, we'll have the golf cart food just truck version of it. the food. And the golf course to serve people with. I'm down. I love it. It's so much fun. I want my own cooking show now. Everyone on Food Network has their cooking show. I can't wait to be on my own. You'll be good at it because. Thank you. Yeah, it's entertaining, so. Maybe. <gasps> I don't really feel like I'm entertaining when it comes to cooking, but I love to you do it. You don't know it, but you are. Thank you. That's why I love you. That's why I married you. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go digest the food, get some ice cream. I'm excited to try this flavor of the month. You, It's always Oreo. Why is it always Oreo? They have like a, a golden Oreo. Probably some, you know, partnership Sponsorship. there. They have a little flavor stakes month. investment in Oreo, but when, <laughs> when they said some more, I was like, that's, Oreo s'mores. That's for me. Anything with marshmallow, chocolate, uh -huh. biscuit, like it's perfect. What? What was the last biscuit? Yeah, like Oreos, uh, s'mores. Like graham cracker? Yeah. Oh, you got biscuit? I've never heard that before. And Hebert biscuit. He's clear. Biscuit. Our daughter's going to be so lucky. Friday night ice cream date nights. Yeah. It's going to be so yummy. Just don't stay home as we learned from Desperate Housewives season six when he stayed home from getting ice cream with them. Oh, that was the... Yeah, remember? They're like, we're going to go get ice cream. He's like, I got to work. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. No, that's... Exactly. He should have gone with them. He should have gone with them. You should not go without me. Exactly. No runaway baby. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I'm, like, not clothed, I always feel like a runaway baby because my belly's so big now. It's like a little, like, toddler or something. I'm like, <laughs> I feel like a big baby. I love it though. All right, we're going for real. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Give us suggestions. If there's any other dishes with like snow or water chestnuts or anything or different kind of sauces, maybe I I love yeah. this sauce, but we're I want to. That's what we're try looking more. for. Different type of uh, Chinese sauces. Like a little thicker, maybe. Because we don't know the names of them. We know it's yeah different dishes we like, but we don't know the name. I know because when we went to the restaurant, we literally asked, "What do you have with water chestnuts and snow peas?" And she's like, "We have this," and we think it's the gar garlic Spice, sauce. Spicy garlic. Spice, but it doesn't sound like something either one of us would like. But I would be down to try a garlicky one um we got a lot of suggestions on our live shows today i have to try carne asada because most like carne asada which i think i would too i would try that uh someone said i love taquitos which i'm so excited because i love those and i haven't ate them because it's 7 11 and i feel like that's probably not the best thing to eat during pregnancy um and there were so many other ones so if you guys have any suggestions let us know chicken alfredo but we like to be adventurous so yeah so we got my homemade pizza that was your I'll suggestion on the live okay I'll make good. the dough. Wow. We'll be like Mr. Deeds Pizza. Make it. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.